Well, uh, we basically covered uh, HTTP, JSON, XML, and Rust, very high level overview. We use curl to get some user data using the GitHub API and also the post JSON. And uh, we create a simple web crawler. And we have a lot of people. So, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, so any questions about anything that we covered today? What, can you give us some examples of how you use this in real life? Um, like, at your journal or something? Yeah, so I work on uh, mobile web clients, or like just mobile web apps, actually. And I do the networking layer, so I hit a lot of, I, I hit our API uh, in our servers at Rosetta back in like Harrisburg. And the API is extremely like ridiculous, and they all work in Ruby, and it has like a million endpoints. So if I just want to test something really quickly, I'll use curl and just, copy like some JSON in there and make sure that you know the API is working correctly and that the endpoint exists and stuff like that because if I'm just using like a mobile app and I hit an incorrect endpoint or my data is bad or something, it won't give me a very helpful message. It'll just be like, your app crashed. Awesome. So curl will generally give me more helpful messages than that and that's what I use it for, just testing endpoints. Do you use it as curl or do you use flip curl? Oh, yeah. I use curl. Okay. Yeah, I don't really use. I tried to use the curl once, but I didn't really like it. And like I said, I use it for very minimal kind of jobs, just getting in points very quickly. So if you're ever working on like networking stuff and hitting an endpoint, it's extremely useful before like writing a client to make sure that your server is written correctly and parsing JSON correctly and whatever it needs to do. Awesome. That's about it. My name is Jackie Myers. If you want to look me up or something, I don't know. Yeah. Do you have a website, right? Although, no. Don't talk about That's it, right? right. Okay. I will have a website soon if anyone is wondering. <laughs> I linked to something for you because I went to your LinkedIn page. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. I do have a LinkedIn page. I do have an internet presence. <laughs> so, not just a stranger. Have you played around with any? I mean, do you have APIs you've played around with other than GitHub's? I've used the Facebook and Twitter APIs. So, uh, doing uh, some examples? Just uh, to create like a very simple like mobile app to like yeah. log into Facebook or something. Yeah, sure. Do what? Do a little demo of what you're doing. <laughs> I don't know if I could do a little demo of this. I don't. Well, I can at least show you what. Um, so, also developers, Facebook. So, you can see, so I specifically do iOS, and there's like an SDK and all this cool stuff. Um, yeah, so I don't actually. If you had a web that you that in RAW. Yeah. yeah. Somewhere. It's too, all right, we're not going to do a rant. But if you went to developers.facebook.com, you could do it fairly easily yourself by just following their documentation. And then you can use the Twitter API to like grab tweets and yeah. stuff like yeah. that. Twitter is actually slightly easier than Facebook, but still, like, much to do on the Doing this kind of stuff with the Twitter API is a hot topic right now if you're doing like data mining. Because, mm -hmm. I mean, if you go back to like the bash scripting, I don't know if you guys are here for that week, but you can like write a little bash script that uses, you know, curl to basically pull the trending topics on Twitter mm -hmm. and then take those trending topics, iterate on them, and like search for all the top tweets with that hashtag and then, you know, pipe it into graph and like search for specific words. And, I mean, you can whip yourself together a little data mining and analysis app using bash and 20 lines of curl and bash code. Why is that so valuable? Because I feel like a lot of companies because it's an inlet into a bunch of people's brains, right? Those companies are trying to sell things to those brains, among yeah. other things. Well, I think but they, they predicted the presidential race, right? Yeah, I mean, it's so some of it's like academic, right? It's we have all of these people sharing little thoughts. We ought to be able to do something clever with that. I mean, it's wisdom of crowds type stuff to some extent, right? You got all of these humans putting out opinions, and if you can find a clever way to filter it, there's maybe something more clever than any individual human would ever be in, that ingrained in there. But yeah, I mean, a lot of it, uh, the thing that if you're getting paid to do this, it's mainly for like advertising, right? 
Google needs to know what ads to display to you, right? I mean, advertising companies want to know what the trending topics are. Barack Obama's campaign is by paying people a lot of money to track the trending topics on Twitter to monitor reaction to like policy points and speeches and debates and stuff like that. I mean, it's a way to get feedback as to what's going on in the world. Extremely useful. Okay, thank you for okay. Any other questions? Okay. Cool. So next week we're doing more stuff along these lines. Only it's going to be more from the. This was kind of the client side stuff this week. So using curl and wget and things like that. Next week I think is going to be more creating the actual website. So creating a website, putting it on a server. It's probably not going to get into like standing up a JSON server because that's a little complex, but it'll be, you know, if you want a Mandy website, it'll probably satisfy those requirements. Your main.com and you know how to do basic HTML and CSS and the styling and that kind of stuff that, that goes on with that. So we'll thank Jackie again. And unless anyone has any other questions, these videos will be online later. We can both press the ground for a little while for both one on one questions or anything like that. Uh, all right. Thank you.